So now I'm going to give you an example. So, um, so in the pre in the previous video, we got to this formula here. The arc length is given by given by this. Okay. So now let's just look at an example. Let's say we've got a function. This function here is given by this. Okay. Um, so if we 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 uh, we now want to find the arc length from from zero to two. So that's from here to here. So we, we want to work out the uh, the arc length here from zero to two. Okay, so so um, looking at the formula, looking at the formula, the arc length is equal to this thing here. Well, if, if you look at this thing here, you uh, you've got to work out the, uh, the the first derivative of the function. So in order for us to use this, we need to work out f prime. Okay, so so looking at so the, at the moment is at the moment we've got f equals this. So now we need to find out f prime. So differentiate it, and then uh, and then so don't forget this two here will disappear. So if you if you differentiate this, it will give you this. It will give you this. Okay. And then uh, tidy this up. So um, so tidy this up. This cancels out. This cancels out, leaving you square root of x. Uh, sorry, square root of two. And then this is a square root of x. Okay. And then uh, and then that becomes uh, root 2x. So looking at this, um, so so the arc length is given by this. So um, so when when you um, we, we now have to put this into this thing here because f prime f prime is equal to the square root. So 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 when when you put this into here uh, square root and then you you squaring it, it will just cancel each other out, leaving you 2x. Well, put this into here. And then square it. Okay, so hang on. So the arc length is uh, is given by this. So when you put two x, uh, when you put root two x into into here, and then and then you square it. So uh, so we kill off the square root, leaving you the two x here. So the arc length is really it boils down to you evaluating this. So you evaluating this would be well visualize this thing here. As this, so now integrate it. So when you integrate this, it's really you looking for. It's you really looking for to 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 integrate this. It's really you looking for something that when you differentiate it, it will give you this. So um, so make your guess, make your initial guess to be this. Hang on. So make your initial guess to be this. So it's going to be one more than this. So that would be. 3 over 2. So let's just make this to be our, our initial guess. So when you differentiate this, it will give you, it will give you, um, it will give you 3 over 2, uh, 1 plus 2x, and then, and then this gets minus by 1, so that, so, it's, uh, and then, and then you've got it times with the derivative of the bubble itself, which will be 2. Okay, times 2. Um, so, so now, um, now you can see that this will get cancelled out with this. So when you differentiate this, it will it will be three x. Hang on, it will be three. It will be three here, and then this gets cancelled out. So when you when you differentiate this, it will give you this. But then we we will need to kill off this three. So make your adjustment to be this. Okay. So when when you differentiate this now, it will give you it will now give you this. So integrating this. Will be this, okay? So, so from here, we can um, we can jump to so 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 this bit here is this bit here, okay? So um, so hang on, so integrate this, and it will give you this. So now it's just a matter of evaluating it. So it will be this take away this. So this thing here will be this, and then take away this thing here. So that will then take you to here, and then that will be approximately this. So this is your arc length here. Okay.